Agatha Christie, born Agatha Mary Clarissa Miller on September 15, 1890 in Torquay and died on January 12, 1976 in Wallingford, Oxfordshire, was a British woman of literature and the author of several detective novels. His name is associated with the name of his two heroes, Hercules Poirot, a professional Belgian detective, and Miss Marple, an amateur detective. She is nicknamed the Queen of Crime. In fact, Agatha Christie is one of the most important and most innovative writers in the detective genre. She also wrote several novels, including some sentimental stories, under the pseudonym Mary Westmacott. By the time I was 16 or 17, I'd written quite a number of short stories and one long, dreary novel. By the time I was 21, I had finished the first book of mine ever to be published, The Mysterious Affair at Styles. It is ridiculous to set a detective story in New York City. New York City is itself a detective story. I think the real work is done in thinking out the development of your story and worrying about it until it comes right. That may take quite a while. Then, when you've got all your material together, all that remains is to find time to write the thing. An archaeologist is the best husband a woman can have. The older she gets, the more interested he is in her. You must write pretty fast keep in the mood and to keep the talk flowing naturally. I prefer to write a play as a play, that is rather than to adapt a book. What is your method, they, her friends, want to know. The disappointing truth is I haven't much method. I type my own drafts on an ancient faithful machine I've owned for years. I found myself making up stories and acting the different parts. There's nothing like boredom to make you write. Plays I think are better written quickly. Writing plays is much more fun than writing books. You haven't got to bother about long descriptions of places and people or deciding how to space out your material. What any woman saw in some particular man was beyond the comprehension of the average intelligent male. It just was so. A woman who could be intelligent about everything else in the world could be a complete fool when it came to some particular man. A mother's love for her child is like nothing else in the world. It knows no law, no pity, it dares all things and crushes down remorselessly all that stands in its path. The happiness of one man and one woman is the greatest thing in all the world. Love can be a very frightening thing. That is why most great love stories are tragedies. I think people more often kill those they love than those they hate. Possibly because only the people you love can really make life unendurable to you. Why shouldn't I hate her? She did the worst thing to me that anyone can do to anyone else. Let them believe that they're loved and wanted and then show them that it's all a sham. Liking is more important than loving. It lasts. I want what is between us to last, Luke. I don't want us just to love each other and marry and get tired of each other and then want to marry someone else. Any woman can fool a man if she wants to and if he's in love with her. When will a woman lie? sometimes for herself usually for the man she loves always for her children all women without in the least meaning it consider every man they meet as a possible husband for themselves or for their best friend a man when he is making up to anybody can be cordial and gallant and full of little attentions and altogether charming but when a man is really in love he can't help looking like a sheep to care passionately for another human creature brings always more sorrow than joy, but at the same time, Eleanor, one would not be without experience. Anyone who has never really loved has never really lived.